Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today what we're going to do is we're going to install this NVMe SSD to my computer. It's an XPG 512 gigabyte PCIe Gen 3 SSD. So basically, that means it's really fast. There's Gen 4 now, but uh, this NVMe should. Yeah, you know, should do well. Uh, it's kind of expensive compared to traditional hard drives and even some solid state drives. Uh, since this is installed directly to your motherboard, I already have one in the computer. Uh, if you can remember, I, I made a video about um, how to put a heat sink on that particular SSD, but that's regular. NAND SSD. This baby is supposed to be a lot faster too and the reason why I chose this brand is because performance wise and with the actual size that they're gonna get at 512 gigabytes it's the best bang for your buck NVMe. So let's get started. So what's in the box? Take a look at what we have here. So in the box we have the actual NVMe right here. Let me show you. There you go. And it comes with its own heat sink. Although it looks more like um, a regular, you know, sticker. But, but yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a heat sink, so heat spreader at least. So I'm going to show you how to install that. And just so you know, uh, I remember back when I was watching other build videos, I used to think that these cards are actually big. They're actually not. They're, they're tiny, just like the size of my thumb. Just to give you perspective on how small they are, uh, the length of my pinky, the tip of my pinky to the tip of my thumb is actually 10 inches. Let me show you for reference. So here's the tape measure. Yeah, so it's tip to tip. Show it. That's 10 inches right there. And this SSD is actually about, you know, I don't know, a good three inches in length. See here. So it's tiny. And about, you know, an inch wide. So you have to be very careful when you're handling it. So uh, I'm going to show you how to, or how I'm going to attempt to install the heat sink and I'll show you the installation process to the computer in a bit. Probably gonna time lapse that though as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. I wanna be as careful as possible. I don't wanna break anything. So the idea is for me to put the plate, the heat sink or the heat spreader in this orientation because the slot um, here, let me show you on my computer, the, the one up here is already occupied, the one behind not this. So I'm going to go under the GPU and I have to plug it in this way for it to work. Nothing special, I just want to make sure it's aligned. The funny thing is, wait, you're gonna see a groove here. There's a 
yeah, there's a groove right here at this part. This is where you screw it in. So supposedly the idea is it should be like this. But I don't know, it's going to be the other way around. I'm going to check if I have any stickers from from my... You know what, let me do that now. From the Rog Strix motherboard. I'm pretty sure I have stickers. I'm not sure if I have one for a heat sink. Yeah, these are the stickers. This is for the CMOS battery cables. They are nothing for the SSD, unfortunately. So uh, I'm torn between following what the, what the manufacturers want me to do or what I want to do. So the choice is pretty obvious. I'm, I'm going to do what I want to do. So let me go ahead and do that right now. As long as I'm clear from that slot where I need to screw screw in the NVMe to the board, I should be fine. So here it is. I'm gonna install it in this orientation. So let's go ahead and do that. I might have to put a shirt on just for this. Give me one sec. So I have shut my PC off. And now I'm just gonna remove the side panel so I could install the SSD and show it to you folks. I already have um, the screw in there. No, it's not there. Last time I checked, it was still there, so I'm gonna have to find it. Give me one sec. Okay, so I found the standoff that I needed to use. It's very tiny, it's kind of difficult to find. It's right there. Uh, I'm not gonna put the computer to the side now. Uh, it's not me being lazy. It's me being very lazy <laughs> so <laughs> let me just go ahead and install the SDD right now and if I make a mistake at this point this screw will fall into one of the slots below so I don't want to do that I don't want to have to take everything up, up apart I think this is a bad idea. I shouldn't have been this lazy, but you're already here, so I might as well go for it. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay. <sighs> All right. Get back to you in a bit. Approximately ten hours later. Okay, so believe it or not, it's gonna be the fifth attempt. I found the standoff uh, underneath all the cables, and I had to to undo the cable management pretty much just to get to it. And then I returned everything back. The back panel and all the good stuff and I dropped it again and I did the same thing happened again so now I'm gonna leave the panel off the back panel off just in case it falls down the good news is I'm able to actually install the standoff to the motherboard it's right here so I just need to attach the SSD and screw everything together now let me go ahead and do that right now Hopefully, this goes smoothly. I'm hoping. Oh, wow. I, I put it in the wrong. Jeez. You know what? When I got this card, I thought that this is going to be a piece of cake. It's turning out to be the most annoying part to install. 
in this computer. And this is after installing everything from the ground up. So I have to loosen it. <laughs> ah! Frustrating. Pretty sure you can hear the frustration in my voice. Guess it is very frustrating. Okay. Here we go. Now before I even put everything back together, I want to test if it works first. Yeah. So there you go. Let me switch the computer on. Let's see if the motherboard will detect the SSD. It booted. I was hoping that it would, that I could go into the BIOS first. Anyways, let's check it out. A data SX 8200 or 8200. It's right there. Let me see if I can get more information. Let's go to disk management. Yep, it has been detected by the computer, so awesome. So let me just go ahead and put the camera to the side. I, I'm torn if I'm actually going to to install a new OS on that on the new SSD or if I should just leave it as is use it as extra storage for my projects like videos and photos it's being read as 476 gigabytes and that's pretty normal with HDDs or SSDs let me go ahead and test how, how quickly it can, tra it can transfer files from one SSD to another. So let's test it. So this Nikon folder that I'm highlighting right now, it's 10 gigabytes in size. There's 10 gigs of pictures in there. So I'm gonna see how fast it transfers to the new SSD. If you can see this, but it's pretty insane. That's 10 gigabytes, mind you. Uh, normally, on a hard disk drive or a file that's about 100 to 300 Mbps, that's the normal speed for transfer, so it's pretty fast. There you go, 10.1 gigabytes right here. So not bad at all. So you can definitely see that there's a huge difference with regards to transfer rate. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so I just need to fix everything back up and I hope you learned something from the video. Uh, I hope I was able to answer some qu personal questions that I had myself if this would be compatible with the ROG Strix B450 gaming motherboard. It actually is. Uh, this motherboard comes with two SSD slots. There's one at the top, right behind Noctis's foot, and there's one at the bottom. So it works with this motherboard. Shouldn't experience any problem. It's fast. Seems pretty good. So I'm gonna keep using it. Let you guys know if there's any problem or any problems along the way. And I'm still trying to determine if I'm going to install uh, an OS there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you learned something and stay safe. Good night.